I'm getting to the point with the Beach Boys where I can fucking pick out who is singing what part. Like, that's not something... I've never really, really delved into the Beach Boys until the past, like, six months, maybe? Maybe four months? And, uh, yeah, I, I really... I really just love their voices together. It sounds amazing. And the songwriting is great. Brian Wilson wrote a lot of the later stuff, well, later 60s stuff on Acid, <laughs> including the album that that's from, which is Pet Sounds. Voted number two, best album of all time by Rolling Stone, by the way. Number one was Sgt. Pepper from the Beatles, which was influenced by Pet Sounds, which was in turn influenced by Rubber Soul. I'm sorry, Revolver. No, no, Rubber Soul. Yeah, Rubber Soul. And, um... Yeah, I can I can really I can really just listen to this album all the time, which is a shame because I need some new fucking music to listen to. No, I'm good. I got it. Don't I'm going to I'm going to get a thousand recommendations of all this stuff. I'm good. Really, really I'm fine. Um I actually get oh man, I get a lot of recommendations on Twitter and email and um I've had a lot of people actually like totally not even nail the um the, the musical tastes that I have, like they'll get kind of, some people get really close. Some people give me good stuff and some, most of it I can't listen to. Cause it's like just so much like here, they listen to this whole album and I'm just like, shit, I can't do that. Um, but other times the genre, it's like so incredibly foreign to me. I don't even know where to begin, but I do appreciate the recommendations. However, I'm a bit of an old fucking fart with my musical tastes. So here I am listening to like, hey, darling, we're in love. It's the Beach Boys. Eat my fat red cock. It's the Beach Boys. You know, and that's that's what I'm into these days. You know? <laughs> okay, let's begin Chrono Trigger. And I don't remember where we left off. It's been a little while. So get your Vine Chronos ready. And, uh, and we will begin. Oh, I remember where we are. Okay. So if you missed my previous announcement, I had um, announced that right after I'm done with Chrono Trigger, I will start Chrono Cross and stream it within a few days of Chrono Trigger ending. So, there's that for you to either look forward to or groan about. But I'm excited. Um. Yeah, music. Yeah, what's, are you gonna get the jerky for the king? to get some jerky, you know? This motherfucker is selling jerky. What do you, what do you mean, the king? Piano Man's got talent. Stop by and check it out. Actually, you give it to the mayor, I think, for the side quest. I didn't know there was anything related to the king. Alright, so... Um... Which king? You, you need to be specific. 
Do you mean this king? Also, notice Robo is still here, even though I have Robo again. You know. Time. Timey-wimey shit. Hey, you want some jerky? That's one king. The present king. But, well, that's a whole other fucking thing. I'll tell you what. Come back to me a little bit later on that one. Because right now, that king is a little bit unavailable. Let's just say. Okay, so we go to the elder's house, right? In 600. Well, before I do this, here, let's let's... So let me take you through the full kind of steps, because this is- this is why Chrono Trigger is amazing. Okay, check this out. I run this town, I'm so rich I don't know what to do with it all! Give you 10G if you act like a chicken! Ah, boring! Person I hate most? My dad, of course! Dad loves money more than he loves me. Children are slipping away from us. It's so sad. Well. So you go back 400 years. You go to the same house. I see you have some jerky. Earlier, she said she wanted some jerky. I'll sell it to you for 10,000 G. Yes, not interested, or I'll give it to you. I'm gonna give it to her for free. You're giving it away? I thought there were no kind people left in this world. You can bet my children are gonna learn the value of sharing. Okay, let's do some cooking. So now... She's gonna teach her kids Not to be jerk faces. Person I like most? My dad, of course. I love my daddy. Share and share alike, help the needy. Think about making that the town motto. Wish my husband were a little less generous. Everyone thinks Dad's generous. Does that mean they know he's cool? Or they think he's cool? Who knows? So, now this is actually... I know this is, seems like a pointless thing, like, oh, it's cute, you know, he's generous now. But... It actually... is really important. I'll show you. We're gonna do another side quest. Alright, so, we're going back to prehistory, and the reason I want to do that is there's certain vesticles that I want to, I want to buy. Okay, so, let's see. Um, pedal fang horn. Um, armor from many rupees, rubies. Pedal fang horn and feather for trade. I need ten. I have nothing, so no trade. Okay. So, I- I need to do some hunting. I only need probably just one. How vascular of you? What the fuck does that mean? How vascular of you? Is it like a swole joke? Yeah, I like the- yeah, that's a cool chat name. Vinny is a homo guy, that's cool. I mean, he's a big fan. Like I said, there's- they're just- you know, you have a lot of fans when you become a streamer. Um, some that just hate you on principle that you're a streamer. Because get a real job, asshole. 
Um, some that just, you know, just hate you because they hate you. Because, because they hate everything. And then there are those that watch you religiously with the name Vinny is a homo. So, you know, it's, it's, it's good. Thank you for your viewership, my friend. I don't know why I did frog squash. Yeah, don't ever do frog squash first. The mango, what kind of a fan are you? You invented Apple, Dave. So, you know, that's all I have to say. Do I need I say more? Need I say more? Also, speaking of Dave, hello, Dave. Other other Dave who I spoke to today about music. Hello. How are you? Um, I'll tell you guys a funny little story while I look for this new and do some grinding. So there's a poster that Joe has in the studio that um, was in one of our photos. One of our little band photos. And um, Dave in the chat noticed this poster and it was a poster that one of his old bands was on. Like it was a, a like a, a festival kind of thing or it was a gig that his old band was, was on this poster. He was like, how did you get that? Like he emailed me, how did you get that? And so I talked to Joe about it. He was stunned that this was even a thing. And um, and we spoke and, and yeah, I mean, it's a small fucking world. Like just randomly someone noticing a poster that their band is on in one of my pictures. <clears throat> so. I mean, I don't even really, I don't even really know. Is this real life? That's my question. Am I married? Yes, I am. I have four children. Their names are Benicio, Valhalla, Lando, and Ramon. But you gotta say it like that, Ramon. Or you can pronounce it Ram on. That's fine too. He, he he likes them both ways. Ram on or Ra Ramon. We we uh we are unable to find the new this time around. Humbucker or strats? Uh, the humbuckers are pretty cool. It depends on the guitar. Um, I like the pickups my Rickenbacker has. Those are, I don't know what they are, but I like them very much. And also, um, I have a Les Paul that has some humbuckers in it. Humbuckers? And they're pretty good. But I'm, I'm not really a big fan of that Les Paul anymore. It needs, it needs a lot of work. It's, it's a an older guitar got fucking tossed around. There's still blood on the strings from the last gig I did with it. So, and that's six years ago. <laughs> I should probably get those strings changed, huh? What was I doing playing Serious Sam earlier today? You fucking stalker. Honestly, I wanted to play a little co-op Serious Sam with Mike last night, but the game refused to load in any capacity. So... It loaded today. I didn't get a chance to play it, but... Yeah, I just wanted to play a big, dumb, fucking stupid shooter. And, um, my wish was unfortunately not granted. Should be enough. I could probably buy one vest now. You'll see why. It's part of- it's a really good piece of armor, actually. Oh, this- this will actually help. Uh, 
Um, super hot. I'll stream more super hot. I'm probably not that much further. From finishing it. That, that is correct, Captain Jax. You know your Chrono Trigger side quests. Ah, good investment! Ah! What kind of shoes do I wear? A nun, you need to stop right now. <laughs> I wear Vans, because I'm a fucking hipster loser. And also, they're comfortable and look nice. Okay, I got the ruby armor. And, um... I'm gonna be putting that on... Chrono. Cuts fire by 80%. Has really good defense. And then Frog, I'm gonna give the, um... Um, give him the ruby vest. He's got a lot of health, so he's probably better off with that. So here's what you do. Go to the future. This is a cool side quest. This is one of my favorite side quests in the game. I really enjoy this. What's my go-to type of liquor? Um, whiskey? I like a whiskey on the rocks, but I'm not a big, um... Like I said, I went today, it's St. Paddy's Day, I had two, maybe like one and a half beers. And German beers are pretty strong. And I had a whiskey shot, and that was my, uh... I was like, no more. I'm good. Never again. Thank you. But yeah, whiskey on the rocks, I usually have one or two of those, and then I'm, I'm good. Just to get a little loose. But my, the thing with alcohol with me is... Oh, whoops, I went the wrong way. The thing with alcohol with me is that I, um... It just makes me tired. It makes me tired and very quiet, believe it or not. Some people it makes very loud. I just want to go to sleep. And, like, not talk to anybody. So, um... It depends. You know what, though? The other half of that is if I drink too much, then I'm a loud asshole. So, anyway, um, yeah, so check this out. All right. So, this is Son of Sun. And if you watch a speedrun of this game, the way they fight this boss is really fun. Um, you'll notice that it does a counter-attack. You can't attack the middle. You have to actually attack one of the, um, okay, roulette shuffle. So the trick to this boss is you have to pick the right flame. There it is. We got it first shot. So not only will that not counter-attack, Um, that will do damage to the main unit. Can I steam beg on here? No, don't beg for games. I mean, that's just a- why would you steam beg in general? Like, buy me games. That's like a horrible look, man. Don't do that. Okay, Chrono almost dead. That's not good. So then we go again. He, uh, he did a shuffle, so now I have to find the fucking... the right flame again. It's just a guess. Two incorrect guesses. And this is why fire resist gear is, is great. I don't deserve free games, that's correct. I- I often tell people, do not buy me games. Uh, 
I'm just saying, like, you know... Dude was like, hey, can I beg for games? I'm like, well, wait a minute, is that, that's a good idea in any capacity? Um, what's special about this way Speedrun does this boss? They... They have it kind of planned out, and they... They do it in such a way that, um... They know which one it is, I think. Like, they, they have, like, a fucking frame-perfect... I, I... You know what? I don't remember. I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't remember. But it was cool. It was really cool. Magus has the best armor for this. Magus is, is taking absolutely no damage. Meanwhile, Chrono and Frog are up Shit's Creek right now. Mostly Frog. Chrono and Krog. Whoops. Yeah. There it is. He's gonna rotate, though. There it is. Fuck. So, the boss is... And if you're- if you'll forgive the expression, is kind of a crapshoot. It's not that hard, if you just prepare with fire resists, but, um... Newbies get killed by this boss pretty fucking hard early on. more hits in. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Alright. Son of Sun's losing its fire. Here we go. Now, we're in the next phase of the fight, which he does not rotate, and he loses his power. So, this is, this is a good thing. There it is. 3,840 tech points. Magus learns Dark Mist. Dark Mist is really good. If you use Black Hole, it can suck up some of the false flames. Oh, that's awesome. I don't have Black Hole yet, but... Also, notice the Ocean, Pile, uh, Ocean Palace tile set. Here, here in the future. So, Son of Sun is actually... So... This is the Sunstone. Its power has been lost over time. With the Sun's energy, it could be recharged. But it'll take over 65 million years. So... Yeah, this is- this is a fun side quest, so, I mean, there's a hint at what you're supposed to do. So, there's one... Yeah, I wonder what we should do. There is one thing that remains- Okay, so, if you never notice this particular thing, either while you're playing the game or while I was streaming the game, then, yeah, you might- you might miss it. But... There is one thing that's consistent through every time period, and it's Sunkeep. This is the only place that is in every time period in Chrono Trigger. 
Uh, the sun keep where the sun never sets. Leave the moonstone? Yes. Now, let us go. Thank you, Magus, for your edgy... edginess. So you have to wait 65 million years. First, we'll go to the Dark Ages. It shifted slightly, yet the place is still here. Now, this is after 65 million years. It's, it's really recharging. It's glowing. So, you'd want to, um... Obviously, go to the last possible time period to get the Sunstone. But it's gone. The Moonstone is gone. Seems it's been gone for 1,300 years or so. Let's get back to the present. How do you know that, Magus? How do you know it's been gone 1,300 years? What in the name of fuck? Oh, it's- it's magic. I, it's magic. I'm telling you, because magic is- is Magus, and Magus is magic, and that's the only way. He, he's gonna get vac banned for this shit. It hasn't been gone for long. Let's take a look around. You know, I've actually... Never saw Magus's. I don't think I've ever seen Magus's dialogue for the Sunstone quest, and it, predictably, it's it's just <laughs> very cut and dry, very bare bones. So now we just have to look for where the Sunstone could be. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's weird. Hmm. So there's a visual visual cue. You're interested in the Moonstone? Well, someone simply left it here. Seems important to you folks. Why don't you take it? Now, what I should have done was... I should have not made him into a nice dude. First, I should have left him an asshole and then tried to get the Moonstone. Because he will not give it up. He's just a dick about it. A selfish asshole. But when you, um... You know, when you tell, teach his ancestor the meaning of generosity. Yes, the meaning of generosity here on this Christmas. Then, yeah, then then he, he gives it up. No problem. And then we leave the Moonstone. There's a tab in the Sun Keep in 65 million BC. Oh, I think I remember that, but I missed it. It's ready. The Sunstone has regained its luster, but how might we harness its energy? Amazing! With this much energy, I can make a powerful weapon. Let's go back to my house now. Luca, who is brilliant, knows how to t make a gun out of this somehow. <laughs> I'll modify the sunstone to extract its energy. Then we'll just vacuum pack it into a cartridge. And it's finished! Sometimes I amaze myself. Ah, take a look, Luca. I borrowed some of the Sunstone to create something nifty.
sunshades. Which... Up attack power. So that's pretty good for frog. Um, and yeah, we ha we now have Luca's ultimate. Um, weapon. But here's the thing about this weapon. I'm going to show you. Um, let's see. Where Where's a few scumbags we can kill? You guys know where I can find some scumbags? Here, let's, let's just... some mid-level scumbags. Let's just go for some mid-level scumbag right here. And, uh... I'll show you why this weapon is kind of... Okay, this, there's not a lot of scumbags here. Scum Vulage. That's... Yep, thank you. How is this a name? That's exactly where we have to go. Right here! I'm a triple Z! Sorry, someone in chat said that I couldn't resist. Look at how much damage that did. 1,325. Look how much Chrono does. Chrono is my, my heaviest hitter right now. Luca just did 1,325 damage with the Wonder Shot, right? And then 174. <laughs> and then... 23. <laughs> and then... Six hundred ninety-six. It pierces defense. Right? And it's random. It's totally random. So the wonder shot is is uh, kinda some bullshit, to be honest. But it's it's kinda cool at the same time because it, just a few good shots and you can really take out some bosses very quickly. But um yeah, it's pretty good. Anyway, so that's Luca's ultimate weapon. It's just, yeah, it's random. It's chaos. Chaos gun. It's a lot of fun, though. It's, it really is. It's it's kind of like... You know, you want to add an element of, of danger. High voltage to your game. Just use the wonder shot. And hope, hopefully RN Jesus will take good care of you. Alright, so, um... We're gonna do some more side quests. Thinking about maybe we'll do the rainbow shell. When I was listening to fucking Radiohead today. In Limbo is such a good song. Such a fucking good song. Well. You know what? We could do this. We could do frog side quest. Let's do this one. We could probably do boast, uh, boast, <laughs> both tonight. Right, I think these guys are immune to physical. Yeah, this, this is, um, well, 
this is a part of the map that was totally inaccessible up until you get the um, the wings of time. So there's no chance you can even get to this continent until you get the uh, the, the flying version of the epoch. Also, these guys are fucking- you want to talk about scumbags? I was like, where can we find some scumbags? These guys are scumbags. Instead of just dying peacefully, you know, even though they're dead already. They, um... They steal your MP when they die. They're- they're real scumbags. Oh, Jesus Christ. Now we wait. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you for killing Chrono. Yeah, I, I hate them. I, I really <laughs> genuinely hate those enemies. So, anyway, um, you'll notice that there's- there's holes. I can't actually get any further. Here, you know what? Let's- let's do this. Caffey. My tools have been stolen! I can't get any work done now! wonder where Toma's off to now. Toma's off to find the rainbow shell. He's like a local celebrity, that Toma fellow. Ten years ago, a beast was seen carrying something into the northern ruins. Treasure, perhaps? Oh, you know what? Oh no, the, that... I forgot to change the armor out. So... Yeah. We're only trainees. The boss is at his favorite cafe. So, um, you gotta repair... ...the stuff. You gotta repair the holes. And we're gonna do that in a second. I need revives. I can't believe I'm that fucking empty with revives. I thought I had way more than that. See a desert. So we need to repair the ruins so we can actually get in there and check out some stuff. We're gonna do cool stuff. We're gonna guys, we're gonna smoke weed in the ruins. Actually, before we do that. Um, Toma, if you remember in a previous stream, who's the, the great adventurer, said if we ever find him in the future, we give him some soda, soda pop. The great adventurer, Toma Levine, rests here. 36, Oh shit, we just poured Sodi Pop on his grave and he came back to life. What the fuck? Chrono, long time no see. I've located the rainbow shell. To the northwest of the Cape is a large island called the Giant's Claw. You can find the shell there. But 
beware. There are many beasts about. Time to shove off. Thank you, Toma. Been... You guys are a riot a minute! See ya! <laughs> I never understood- oh, I should get the other tab. I never understood that you guys are a riot a minute line, honestly. <laughs> no, I don't think Toma was in Chrono Cross. Uh, but there- there were definitely, um, various characters that were influenced from Chrono Trigger characters. What should we pour on your grave to revive you? Uh, fruity juice. You know about my fucking fruity juice? That is what you put on my grave. Where's the- where is this tab? Did I get it already? Someone said it, it was 65 million, right? Where the, the tab was, or am I in the- am I in the wrong one? Did anyone, um... Oh, there it is. Thank you. So, me and Southbird collaborated. Southbird did most of the editing, but I, I put it all together. Um, on today's Shovelware Showcase video. Did you guys like it? Was it any good? Because, I mean... I gotta be honest. You've seen it already. It's like, it's not like it's not available. You can watch it whenever you want. But, I just feel kind of like, I'm wondering, do you still enjoy the highlights? If you... <laughs> I, do you still enjoy the highlights if you, um, if you've seen the videos already? In, you know, full, in full. Okay, so the, the- you- there is still, you know, you do enjoy the highlights, right? Okay, good. That's good to know. That's all I really wanted to know, actually. Because I want to continue doing that. Um, and I- now that the album is done, I- I have- Soon I'm gonna have a lot more time to- to do more highlights. So. Also, not so serious, I still have that fruity juice mug that you designed. I, I drink my morning coffee out of it. So, talk about fruity juice. It's good shit. I'd stay away from the ruins. The structural damage is severe. That's all this town has. There's an old structure to the north. It's been in ruins for decades. Ghosts lurk in the ruins. <laughs> what a... There's, they say there's some brain-dead ghost that hangs out in the ruins to the north. Scary! The anguish of the tormented spirits has created negative energy that surrounds the ruins. Like omen sparkles in the sun. Tomorrow should be clear, too. Like, every person in this town is that boring. Hey, bring some more soda! Sir, I think you've had enough sugar today. Pipe down, I'll tell you when I've had enough. Can't you see I love me some soda pop? You wanna borrow my tools? Be my guest, I'm busy here, so go get them from my wife. Heard about the ghosts? No. Ghosts ro roams the northern ruins. Isn't that a trip? Great fucking story. This town sucks. All the youngins went to the Millennial Fair. Kids are just gluttons for fun. The adventurer Toma, Toma's grave is on the Western Cape. He only f 
failed to find the rainbow shell. Not a single sale, and I came all the way from poor. Will you please buy, buy something? Yes. Yeah, they couldn't add references to alcohol, so it's it's sodi pop. My husband's never around. I'm gonna show him who's boss next time. Pow! Pow! Right in the kitchen! What? It's tools. Oh, hold on, they're right here. Got one tools. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a carpenter, just like Daddy, who who spends his day getting drunk at the bar all day. Pow! Right in the kisser. Pow! Right in the kisser. You know what that is? That's that's from the fucking old, the old fifty shows, like fucking the honeymooners and uh, oh god, what was the one with Ralph? I think it's the honeymooners. One day to the moon. You know, the domestic abuse was a punchline in the 50s and 60s, in a lot of the old, like, in the, in the late 40s, too. Like, that was a punchline of so many shows, and then Family Guy joked about that, but, you know. So, that was just a reference to those old, old things. But, uh, it's absolutely, like, when thinking about it now, and how much those shows got away with, and how, like, accepted it was, is is mind-blowing considering the current climate of of how fucking you know p pc everything is that's just and it's like on a, just a quick side note like when at, like an old guy says something racist um someone did a bit about this i forgot i think it was bill burr but um like when an, someone older like the owner of a sports team i think it was or like someone who's in their 60s, 70s, and they say something really shockingly racist or sexist, it's like, well... You know, you kind of have to look at the time when they grew up, it's... You know, that that was like, pow, right in a kisser to the moon! That was like, what you watched when you were growing up. You know what I mean? It's, it's fucking crazy. It, it, things got... Things are weird. Things are weird. Anyway. <laughs> So, notice this ghost's name. Yeah, that's- that's my summation of- of the whole conversation from before. Things are weird. I'm not going any further. I'd rather just play video games. I just thought pow right in the kisser would be a good uh a good moment to talk about that. My sword hath no effect. Glenn. Uh, Cyrus, it is me, Glenn. What? G G Glenn. Glenn. Ugh. He's a mindless ghost. I'm probably wasting our time by doing this, but I just wanted to see if there was any other dialogue. My, yeah, uh, it's uh, yeah, same thing, same thing. So that, if you remember, that's um, that's that's Cyrus, that's his ghost. And it's just, he's mindless, and he's an asshole. Which is sad if you remember the cutscene earlier, like how close Glenn and Cyrus were. So, what you have to do now is, now that you have the tools, you can go to the cafe, Talk to this guy. You got some tools there! Will you let him to a buddy? Yes. Ah, thanks a lot. Now I can get to work. So now, homeboy... 
goes to his home. <laughs> Guess I'll start with the ruins. Come on, you lazy blokes! Uh, whatever you say, but. So, the tools that you got from his ancestor in the future... Ah, we're done for now. Can't repair the spots where the monsters hide. Call us after you get rid of them. We'll do the rest. Come on, you lazy blokes. Whatever you say, boss! Now, the thing about this is... He's assuming that I, I am able to handle and kill monsters and ghosts. Which is, you know... Alright, I mean, thank you. You know, I look strong, that's good. But at the same time, really? You want me to kill fucking, like, living skeletons? Like, dude, please. Oh, wow. All that damage and still they're not dead. Okay, I made a mistake, everyone. Don't use dark magic on skeletons. So there's a weird thing that happens, like a little easter egg. Sometimes when you fight the skeletons in this game, the music changes very slightly. I don't know if you can hear it. It's just one of those weird things that was never explained by the developers. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what that is. Okay, I'm stopping. I'm stopping. We needed at least one dude. Come on, skeletons. They're beautiful. There's <laughs> gotta be at least one or two dude. Today we did two, okay? All right. So we were talking about, when we were at the bar earlier, we were talking about crushing pussies. No, 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 I'm kidding. We were, we were talking about how, um, the bar that we, we went to, there's like two massive suits of armor. And like, could you imagine not only having enough money to start your own giant bar, but then to like include suits of armor in your plans. You know. Expensive suits of armor. Or uh, presumably expensive, I should say. Yeah, it was like, like two really, they were fucking massive. Hagrid. Fucking massive, mate. Um. And, uh, there's like a, a photo on the bar of, of this, of a skeleton. Like, it's just a skull face. I know, I know what you think is skull face. But the decor in this bar, it's a German bar. We, we like it. It's, it's good. But the decor in this bar is a little strange. Also, I just noticed that pixel. You see that pixel? Kind of bizarre. It's just one little pixel that just floats out in the middle there. See that? But, yeah, could you imagine that? Running your own bar and then just like buying just two really expensive suits of armor for decoration. And we thought about it, like there's nothing that those suits would devalue if they weren't there. Like the suits aren't necessary. You know, the, the bar is still really cool and looks really nice, and you could just put, like, a box in the corners where the suits of armor are. But, nope. Just fucking full, full suits of armor and a picture of a skeleton man. 
You don't see the pixel? Alright, I'll show you. And then it, I, it made me think about opening my own bar called Slam Pigs. Me and Mike, we should, we're gonna open our own bar one day and we're gonna call it Slam Pigs. That pixel. You see how it, like, enters Chrono's body and becomes a part of his being? Isn't that weird? That's, yeah, I've never noticed that. You get to a point where you play a game so many times and you love a game so much that even finding a stray pixel is exciting. <laughs> So, this, um... This area is kind of, like, repair the, the shitty spots, fight the ghosts, repair the shitty spots. That's kind of how it goes. Cyrus, the fool who challenged Magus, rests here. Oh god. I mean, Magus is, is literally right here at my party. Cyrus, I hath returned. I shall honor my promise to thee. This is especially weird with Magus in the party. Cyrus. Glenn. Thank you for making the journey here. Dear Cyrus. Thou must think ill of me. On the contrary. You have come far, my friend. When Magus defeated me, you know, the guy that's standing right next to you. Have you teamed up with him? Because I'm not okay with that, Glenn. That's weird. Like, you, you had a chance to kill him, Glenn, and you let him live? Oh. Glenn, he killed me. I, I mean, when Magus defeated me, I thought of all those whom I had left behind. King Guardia, Queen Lean, and of course you. Cyrus. Your skill and dedication is superior. I can rest now, knowing that everyone is in good hands. Goodbye, my friend. Cyrus, wait, wait I, I... I... I didn't return those tapes. The Queen. Look after Queen Lean. Alas, and farewell, Glenn. Cyrus! I'm so sorry, Cyrus. The mass immune. Magus is crying. He's the one he went to see. <laughs> That's it! Best theme, or one of the best themes. <laughs> that was special. Quite. I guess it means that a hero's power comes from within. Ah, <sighs> mucho metaphysical, man. <laughs> like mind over matter, Mune. My mind? And <laughs> now for a yummy full on test. It's thrashing time. Flowing with strength and vigor. Ah, it is the true identity of the Masamune. Cyrus, I promise to fulfill your wishes. Tis a sad farewell. 
Onward, all. It's been powered up. It's now his... his ultimate weapon. And... If you give him the hero medal... It's even more powerful. Extra critical hit rate. So yeah, now Frog has his ultimate weapon. And it's amazing. It's fucking amazing. I almost don't want to leave this room. I just want to hear Frog's theme. Mucho metaphysical. So, one of the um, other things, you may remember earlier in my playthrough that I was able to power up treasure chests in the past. So, you, you just let them react to the pendant, but you do not take the items out. First few times I played this game, I didn't, I didn't know about that. So, you can imagine how fucking shocked I was when um, I discovered that you could power up items and get really swole items. Another reason why I love this game, as I've probably mentioned a million times, but I've... Like, every time I played it, there is always something new to discover. And even this playthrough, there were a number of new things that I had never noticed or had never seen before, including that pixel. <laughs> Just to knit pixel a little bit. Why? I can't describe things as swole? Come on. Oops. Sorry about that. Just, um... It's just I slipped. I, I slipped and Skull Trumpet happened. I just hit that one skeleton for 420. One of the reasons I like the swole meme, or the swole word in general, is because... When I think of swole, I, you know, swollen, right? Swollen is not generally associated with being a good thing. Like, swollen means that you're, you're like, fucking, like, you're allergic to, to, like, bees. Alright, now there you go. I didn't turn that into a meme, but you will. Swollen means that you ate apples and your cheeks puffed up. Swollen means that you were with a cat for, like, an hour and your eyes are all swollen. But the idea of getting swole at a gym... For me, it's- it's a kind of a funny connotation, because it just implies that someone's arms are just like fucking like, massively swollen. But, it's used now as- as a- yeah, it's a bodybuilding term. There you go. How about that? It's- it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing, I'd- I'd say. Notice Cyrus is now gone. Cyrus sleeps here, avenged by his friend Glenn. That's what his... That's what we were able to do. He is now able to rest in peace. Um... 
avenged by Magus. So, we powered up the previous item and got moon armor, which is a really, really good armor. I'm gonna throw it on Chrono for now since he has the safe helm. Um, you know what? I'm gonna take the safe helm off and I'm gonna give him the vigil hat instead because that protects his status. That That's gonna be pretty useful. Uh, the moon armor is, is probably the best armor in the game if you're not talking about absorbing elements, which I still prefer. But the moon armor has more... It's more versatile, I'd say. And then you have this one, Shiva Edge, which I think is the second most powerful weapon for Chrono, which you might never see during a playthrough. Four times damage at critical. If you do a critical hit, quadruple damage. It's pretty fucking intense, mate. And then you have this right here. The Siren turned into the Valkyrie. And that is one of Marl's ultimates. Marl has crap physical damage. That, not only that, but obviously I haven't leveled her up a whole lot. Um, regardless, you, you know, characters level when, even when they're not in your party. So you'll notice Marl is my least used character. Um, even though I've used her a little bit, I used her on, on, um, that mountain. She's level 38. My highest level is 42. So pretty much, you know, the XP still gets transferred to your party. However, and yes, Valkyrie is spelled wrong. However, their tech points, like, you know, the characters I haven't used, like Luca, doesn't have a lot of her skills, which is not cool. Um, what's that now? Um, they use hit. No, I like, um, my f actually, I've done full runs with Luca. I love Luca. I love Ayla. Marl's a little on the weak side. Marl is, is a better healer than she is an attacker, but Ayla's a fucking massive beast when it comes to damage. She's amazing. And Luca is just, I, she's my favorite character in the game, aside from Frog, I'd say. Just because she's, you know, <clears throat> um, really cute. And, and brilliant. And she makes robots. Sorry. She's the best. No, nope, not- nope. Do not use the word waifu. I did not use it. Nope. No, 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 no. Stop it! <laughs> God damn it, no! And then, of course, the best thing to do is to go back in time and just abuse the laws of time and, and uh, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, um, the laws of, of what? It's, uh, temporal, temporal laws. It's, it's, it's a good idea right now to abuse temporal law and to get the items that we powered up in the past. So let's just, that'll make, that makes no sense, but... Anyway, the Cali Blade is pretty, pretty bare bones. There's not a lot to it. Um, the... I don't know, what's up with the siren here? Random stop, that's interesting. So sometimes you'll stop an enemy. And then the uh, Nova armor, you get more of those eventually. It's pretty good. You know, if you got nothing else. It protects status. So at the very least, you know, if you don't have any good armor, like or any really good armor, the Nova armor is, is actually pretty goddamn good. In fact, I would use that now if I needed a character to be protected, because it's still really good armor.
Yeah, so, alright. There's, uh, one side quest finished. Now, you remember Toma pointed to this island, and he said that this is where the, the rainbow shell is, which is what he spent... The, the whole, I mean, Toma has a little bit of a, a character arc, and he spent a good chunk of this game... Uh, you know what, let me get some, um... HP and stuff. He spent a good chunk of this game looking for the rainbow shell, but he was unable to quite locate it. However, he was able to pinpoint its location, and unless you do the Toma quest with pouring the Sodi Pop on his grave, you're unable to actually enter that cave. So that cave is locked unless you manage to, uh, look at Magus, he's so cute. <laughs> um, you're, you're not able to, um, get into that cave unless you have Toma's shit done. Anyway, get ready for some of the best music in the game. Yet again. If for no other reason, I love this dungeon just so we can revisit this to this song. Toma's crumpled note. Ah, those holes. What if I jump into them on purpose? Yes. Start back at the beginning and... Do, do you see this? Do the Tyranno Lair, a prehistoric castle. See, Magus was never here. When Lavos came hither, this place was buried beneath the land. Why does Magus have a cheeky laugh animation? That's like the only time that you ever really see that. But yeah, they're just having a laugh. But yeah, the the Tyranno layer got got buried and uh surprisingly still somewhat intact, considering what the fuck happened to it. If you missed what happened to it, a giant parasitic organism known as Lavos fell from space and exploded directly on top of this castle. Chrono Cross? Yes, I've played Chrono Cross. I've, I've finished Chrono Cross probably like three or four times in my life. I've streamed it once, five years ago about. And, uh, as soon as I'm done with Chrono Trigger, I plan on streaming Chrono Cross as well, so... Oh, that sucks. I wasn't sure I was gonna stream Chrono Cross after this. I thought about, like, maybe spacing it out. I thought maybe I wouldn't be into the idea of it. I was like, yeah, but do I feel Chrono Cross... Is that, you know... Is that something I can put my energy into? Am I going to be bored of RPGs by the time I get to it? And then I watched a video discussing some of the theory, and I was like, nah, I'm, in, I'm into it. Yeah, I really want to revisit Chrono Cross. Definitely. It's possible to get bored of RPGs, sure. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, uh, I like to stream like one or two RPGs a year. There was one point in my stream history, in my stream career, early on, when I was so excited to be a streamer, that, and the fact that I had an audience, I was so happy that I had an audience, that I just wanted to show everyone my favorite games. So, I, um... I, I think I started with, like, Chrono Cross, then I went to Final Fantasy IX, then Final Fantasy VII, 
like Final Fantasy VIII, and then like Skies of Arcadia within the same year, and Chrono Trigger, like within the same year. So I did all my favorite RPGs within one year. Just one right after another. End one, start one. End one, start one. In retrospect, I don't think I would do that again. Chrono Cross and Chrono Trigger together makes perfect sense. That sounds like it's gonna be a lot of fun. But, um, I think maybe like one or two a year would be like a good limit for me. Um, yeah, I also streamed Final Fantasy VI around that time. I streamed X for the first time a few, um, it's like four years ago, four and a half years ago. And I didn't like it that much. Oh, cat! <laughs> there goes the cat! I've said this before, Final Fantasy X, I had no nostalgia for it. I went into it blind. Some of the voice acting and the plot and, and the dialogue just, just was like, what? How do people like this? Um, that said, I liked the gameplay. I liked a lot of the game's events. I liked a lot of the music. I liked... I liked Final Fantasy X overall. I would say I liked it more than I didn't like it. But I, I think that in my, you know, my opinion, it's a little, um, it's a little overrated. I'm sorry, I probably just woke people up. Good thing I have a compressor. Do you guys know what perceived loudness is? So as loud as I just got, I never peaked. I may have edged, but I didn't peek. So, some people say Vinny's always really loud, like when he laughs and when he screams and stuff, but that's not true, because I have a compressor. My loudness level... That laugh was louder than my speaking tone, but not to the point where it would blow out anyone's speakers. My compressor lowers that. Perceived loudness is, you hear something that you know your brain perceives as loud, and you're like, that that's a loud noise. However, since it's not being broadcast, at, like, fucking ear-shattering decibels. You're okay. It's only slightly louder than my speaking tone. I'm not kidding, by the way. I'm, I'm serious. It, it is louder. I'm not gonna deny that. But it's not to the point where it would break anyone's speakers. So, that's perceived loudness. It's a shame this party doesn't have any good, tr like, double techs. Just... Chrono and Frog have some good double techs. Magus... I was always really disappointed with Magus's um, selection of, of spells. I mean, Luminaire pretty much takes care of most of this, but... That Tetis laugh fucking just killed my voice. Um, by the way, the blue rock, that's a triple tech with Magus. So that's... Only through items can you get certain triple techs. And you have to have the right party members, and then you could do it. Otherwise, Magus is, is a loner. He's the odd one out of this game's cast. I forget, um, I forget which party members the blue rock is used with. I do, uh, I don't have the black rock yet, I don't think, but I'm gonna, I know there's another one I'm gonna get on that mountain. Not yet. So, okay, uh, RPGs, yeah, Final Fantasy X, uh, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it by any means, but I don't think I would revisit it. Um, Final Fantasy VI is one of my favorites. Oh, this is the exit. Um, 
I really have- I want to stream Final Fantasy 4. Because I've never streamed it, and I've never completed it, but I played a lot of it. RPGs. I'm a little bit hesitant. And a little bit closed-minded to new RPGs. I am. Because, also keep in mind too, if I'm not digging an RPG, that is a long-ass stream to be committed to. Like, I know I'm gonna love Final Fantasy IV's playthrough, because I already played 85 to 90% of the game. Um... And Chrono Trigger, I know, I know how much enjoyment I can get from showing this to you. But, like, people recommend, like, Vinny, you really should play this, you know, 60-hour game. You would love it. I might, but it's also a huge investment of time that I'm just not sure. Even if I weren't to stream it, I'm also very skittish to RPGs, because I remember playing some stuff that just, you know, like Bravely Default, the demo, didn't do anything for me. And I feel like, um... There's a good chance that, um, some of the newer RPGs might not do it for me. So that's why I don't really branch out too much. It might be considered close-minded, in which case, you know, that sucks, but that's just how it is. Earthbound is gonna be fun. I know I'm gonna enjoy Earthbound, because that's... The recommendations have been very good from people I trust, and it's Nintendo. So, I've never played Earthbound. I'm going to stream Earthbound sometime in the next year, and uh, it should be great. things with the, uh, massive tech points. Oh, I'm in the dungeon. Would I consider doing corruptions again? Sure I would. Yeah, I would... I have to re rethink how I want to do corruptions. Because the way they've been done has changed. The way I do them has changed. That's one. Two N64 cor anything other than NES and Super Nintendo corruptions are really hard to do, and honestly, people haven't been submitting corruptions to me. Um, I had someone submit corrupt. I had a lot of people submitting corruptions for a while, and some of them were just ones I didn't want to do. I just wanted to do like N64 and PS1 corruptions, but um, it's been a while since I got any of those. That was that's one reason I haven't done them. Two. They get old. I've talked about this too much of a good thing in that, you know. So that's two. Three, Nintendo has been very litigious lately. And they've been, like I said, I've had a personal experience where basically I almost lost a lot of videos. And I know people that have, have lost videos and got strikes for things like corruptions and corruption specifically so yeah it's it's one of those things that I don't know how to do it right now and I might not do it for a little while and if I do it probably won't be Nintendo games so doing that. It keeps, uh, I forget the blue ones get healed from that. Yeah, it's mods. It's like, they don't know the difference between corruptions or mods. You know what I mean? It's like, is this a mod? Are you modifying the game? You know, it's, it's a hard distinction to explain to people that are basically businessmen. 
You know, we're not talking about like Shigeru Miyamoto himself. Like, oh, this, you know, it's fun. Do a corruption, have fun. We're talking about people like lawyers in Japan who are still under the assumption that, you know, don't copy that floppy. So trying to get people like that to understand what a corruption is, is not going to be easy. But anyway, yeah, corruptions will come back. Listen, a break is good. You know what? If I was doing corruptions, like, all the time, and at this point, like I used to, I don't need the attention. I, like, I was, you know, listen, I'm good. I'm happy to just play different types of video games for you guys, do some cool, weird shit on Sundays. Corruptions will return, and when they do, I think they'll be fun, and, and we'll have a good time with them. But I just have to rethink how we're going to approach them. Nope, see you later. Um... Also, when I was last doing Corruptions, um, it was kind of... Like, the new Corruptor made it really easy, right? So figuring out how to do streams with the new Corruptor is something I, I want to work on. And um, I also want to find some good games that would be fun to corrupt. And, and make a stream out of it. And it requires planning, too. So I need to really, like, buckle down and do some stuff like that. Um, hello. Hi. What in the name of Jesus fuck you're talking about? So you might have to elaborate. So, do you remember the Tyranno fight? Well, here it is again. Except, it's even longer this time. Fire's pretty good, as usual, and I think, let's see how much damage Dark Mist does. 1684. This would be great with Luca's gun, if it did, like, fucking 9999 damage. That would be really nice, because then the fight would be over in, in no time. But then that would also include... I, yes, I was joking, Shala. I, do you think I would report someone to Square Enix? Come on, dude. <laughs> I really don't even know, like, the specific event. Hang on a second. Someone told you about that problem and told me you'd report them to Square No, no, I'm not gonna report anyone to Square Enix, please. I have a very sarcastic and very strange sense of humor, and I... I some people think I'm serious when I'm not, and vice versa. But anyway, that's all right. Also, hi, Ho Hootie. I got your email, and I want to have a chat soon. But I've also been... Um, I'm probably about 150 emails behind in general. But, um... Why are you... Yeah, why are you awake? Go bread. Go to bread, Hootie. You're an owl. You shouldn't be up at night. Oh, wait. Yes, you should. Also, Hootie, I just, uh, I'd just like to let you know that owls should be up at night, and therefore you should be at all of my streams. And, you know, just, not just because I enjoy your company, but because, you know, you should be here. Because you're Hootie, and, and we enjoy your company. <laughs> we
We love you, Hootie. That's what what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Good, nice typo, Jen. Good job. Thank God you guys are keeping me entertained. This fight is kind of yeah. long and drawn out. I can I can read the chat for 90% of this fight. <laughs> it's more just again just the the spectacle of fighting a giant ancient rusty dinosaur than uh, you know than anything else. Will I ever play through more Valve games? I would love to. Yeah, I I um. I'm a huge Half-Life fan, and um, I've streamed Black Mesa Source when that came out, and I would very much like to uh, stream Half-Life 2 at some point, and also maybe even stream Half-Life 1 again. So yeah, totally. I streamed Opposing Force, I think, twice on the stream. That's my favorite expansion ever made. And I would very much like to um, check that out. Again, as well as Blue Shift, which I've never streamed. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, I have. Never mind. Anyway, we did it. Russ Tirano is dead. Again, not an overly difficult fight, but, um, you know. And again, this is like, I've minimally grinded this particular Chrono Trigger stream. So... Anyway, here it is. Ah, rather drab, isn't it? Heavy it be. Hmm, let's seek the King's Council. So, too heavy for the party. And the game is kind enough to give you a little fade out and warp you back to the castle. <sighs> Hello, you're always welcome here. What can I do for you? We ask as a favor. I get it. You want me to keep that huge shell safe here until the next century, right? I ask for the sake of Chrono, please carry out their request. Done. I shall obtain the shell and store it in the castle as a national treasure. Nice, Captain. Yes, Majesty. Go and obtain the rainbow shell and bring it back in one piece. At once, sire. Thanks to thee, I'm one so humble. The, I think the king, it's somehow, <laughs> the king is aware of Chrono's time travel. Jinx. You know? The, um, the whole aspect of this being, so, what they're gonna do is, they're gonna grab the rainbow shell, store it in the castle, and then, in 400 years, I can go and, uh, grab it. Uh, Vinesos, are you familiar with Crimson Echoes? Yeah, yeah, Chrono Trigger Crimson Echoes was a, um, a fan make. Or whatever, it was a fan game, using this engine. And, uh... I played Flames of Eternity, which... was the reboot of that project. Because Square Enix canned it. And they, um... They were really super cool about that. Because the, cause the fucking... They, they cease and desisted it, just as it was being finished, so... Anyway, um... I played Flames of Eternity. I tried streaming it. And I maybe got, like... Four, five or six hours in before I realized that I hated it. I liked aspects of it. I liked the fact that I got to revisit this world. But some of the storytelling was bizarre. 
the game was really difficult. The pacing of the game made no sense. It was like, with, within the first hour, I was dying over and over and over again. So yeah, I, I really, I really didn't like it. Um, what else is there? Well, we made some good progress tonight. Uh, I am going to stop playing, however. I think, um, Flames of Eternity had Frog and Ayla in a relationship. I was like, wait, what? 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 No, you're welcome, Stream Watcher. Listen, I, I may not be the most entertaining streamer. I may not even be the most likable person. But I try my very best to be as honest as possible. I've, I've had people tell me that they didn't like my opinions. But I'm not gonna stop sharing them. You know, I'll try to be cool about it as much as possible, but if I don't like something, I'll tell you why. Um, I, I may not be right for you. I may not be right for me. I might have a shitty opinion. You may love Flames of Eternity. You may want to see Frog and Ayla be in a relationship, but I think it sucks. So. So here's what we got. Um, the Black Omen. This is the same speech as before, except he just kind of gives you, um... Oh, right, Ozzy. Ozzy's hideout. Um... The future. There's the, the factory. And then there's the, uh, rainbow shell, which is in 1000 AD. So, that's a potential full, like, three or four hours of streaming, I'd say. Um, I could probably do a little stream of the rest of the side quests, and then do a big stream of the Black Omen into the ending. So, I'd say we got two more streams. So, I'll just either do, yeah, a little stream, like an hour and a half stream, or I'll do, like, a full four-hour stream and just fucking finish the game. I'm not sure yet, but... We'll- we'll figure it out. Um, okay. Alright, so that's it for me tonight. I hope you enjoyed Chrono Trigger. I- I hope you enjoy my playthrough of it. I- I really- I- I have a lot of fun explaining my feelings about the game and- and all the little trivia and facts I know. So, I- I'm really just pleased to have you guys here through it. Um... You know, I'm not like a speedrunner. I can't speedrun. I can't really... I'm not good at video games. <laughs> but, um, but you know, I'm happy if you guys like watching my, uh, my streams. Actually, Darren's streaming Final Fantasy IV right now. Speaking of Final Fantasy IV, I'll, I'll uh, host him for you in a second. All right, let's check the art, and then uh, I'm done. I'm surprised I had this much energy, because I actually conked out really hard after I got home. The stream tends to energize me.